TGI Fridays and Johnny Carino's permanently close its doors on January 2nd. In a statement, TGI Fridays announced the sale of eight previously corporate owned restaurants to former CEO Ray Blanchett. And they are closing 36 stores in underperforming locations, including Corpus Christi, as a part of the brand's ongoing growth strategy. Council member for District 3, Roland Barrera, says unemployment here is the lowest that it's ever been and that wages are higher than they've ever been. He says that these two closures isn't necessarily indicative of an economic downturn. And they determine which assets are bringing in what level of return. And sometimes they just need to downsize for, for so that way they can make decisions based on their, their, their corporate needs. Barrera says he is sad to see the restaurants go, but he is excited for the potential of what will take the restaurants' place. Uh, could withstand it. And if you saw during the holidays, there was a ton of activity out there along that area. So what about the TGI Friday staff? The company says that TGI is offering more than 1,000 transfer opportunities, which represents over 80% of total impacted employees. But those in the coastal bend may also have some external help available. If uh, there are displaced workers, uh, we're ready to serve them with um, resources, support services. Uh, our career counselors are on standby all, at all times.